It's not really... I mean, there is a way to farm these, but not really worth it yet. You know, might as well just pop them now and get what we can. One, two, three, four. Oh, God. Oh, no. Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here. And in this episode, we are doing our survival series, our survival outlaws series. And we are looking for buried technology in order to upgrade and build our cool base. In the last episode, we did a lot of the beginning stuff. We also also found the uh, a distress beacon. We, we did, you know, we got our, uh, our uh, terrain manipulator. We went to a different planet. We're starting to get stuff rolling and going. But now we need to find some buried tech. And I think there's some over here. Yep, there it is. So we're looking for that. It almost looked like a Wi-Fi signal. So that's what we're looking for right there. There's one over there. So they're, they're all over the place. You just have to walk around and get them. And we need to get a whole bunch of them. So let me, let me show you what these look like. You should be able to see it pretty easy. Once you can dig down in here. And this is a point when you can use your bigger um, uh, digger, your bigger uh, terrain manipula manipulator. That way you can dig down in there. There you go. And grab that. So we just got how many? Two? So you can get between, you know, generally you'll get between two and three. Sometimes you'll get four. Sometimes you'll just get one. But usually you'll get two or three out of each one of those. Oh, yeah, let's get this. Did I already get this thing? I did not. We need to get an upgrade here. Get rid of the feces. You don't really need that for anything. I mean, again, you can pick it up if you want to, but our inventory is limited on uh, on the uh, survival and permadeath modes. Let's put this uh, starter fuel in here. Yes, the launch fuel in there. Oh, we can actually launch that. Okay, so I'm going to go around and dig up some um, multi or buried technology. Man, my brain's not working. I'm going to go dig some buried technology up. I'll be back with a whole bunch of it. All right, so now we're out and about looking for some stuff here. And I found salvage containers. These are going to be randomly put on different planets. Not every single planet has a salvage container on it. But these are really, really cool to make money. They have different pieces. The only worry you have to worry about is Sentinels will come after you when you collect them. So you have to destroy the little different arms on it. The more arms it has, the more valuable it's going to be. So I only had two. It's not going to be very valuable. But hey, you know, you, you won't know until you dig it up and see. Oh, it's an odd pinion. Okay. But yeah. So there we go. Let me look at it real quick. It is something worth 273,000. I will take that. 273,000. So as I... Oh, there's a worm. Are you serious? There is a worm. A worm lord. Holy cow. Yes. Gigantic worm on this planet. Yeah, as I'm looking for my uh, buried technology, I'm also going to come after the uh, salvage containers as well. Make some money while we're while we're doing this, of course. Why would you not? Why would you not do that? If you have the room, anyway. If you have the room. If you don't have the room, then don't worry about it. Because it does take up a slot and you cannot combine them. Like every single uh, salvage container is a different piece. It'll take up an entire slot in your inventory. So keep that in mind. So, I have picked up a few of the uh, buried technologies. I Specifically, I have 14 of them, so we should be good to go on that. Let me... Uh, oh, yeah, go to the construction research unit. Now, we need to start unlocking some stuff in here. That way, we can keep going with our missions that we got earlier on. So, we need two to do the teleporter. We're going to need to make a biofuel reactor. That's another one. You get your wiring for free, so it says zero. You have to buy. You have to unlock it, but it's zero, so it's free to unlock. And then I would say either get a battery or get a solar panel. If you can, solar panel's a little harder to get. Actually, you know what? We could do both, actually. So I would always suggest getting solar panels. They make electricity constantly. Biofuel reactor, you have to put in fuel all the time, which is kind of a pain in the butt. So let's get both of these and battery. There you go. Easy peasy. So all you need is 14 of the buried technologies and you can get all of that done. So now we need to oh, rename our base. This is going through all the tutorial on how you can actually uh, do all this kind of stuff. Let's actually take our own screenshot here real quick so we can actually... Get a customized one. Let's get me in the shot. That way it's good. 
There we go. Take a screenshot. There you go. Now we need to rename it. We'll just do... Oh, no! It reload. Why? Why? I hit... I clicked the pencil, you... You idiot. All right. Starter base. Done and done on that. I had to capture our new screenshot because they wanted to readjust it. Dang it. No, I want it to be look like this. There we go. So now we can upload the base. And now it's permanently out there. It's in the servers. So everyone can see this base if they come to the system. We are going to need to make some metal plating. So let's see if we can make that. All right. We made our metal plating. We have our carbon. We need carbon nanotubes now. Oh, God. We're going to need to move some of our stuff into our technology tab because we're running out of room. So what you could do is if you... Hold down, if you hold down X, or if you're on PlayStation Square, you can actually pick up technology and move it wherever you'd like. I'm gonna put it in my technology tab. You cannot put it in your cargo. I wish you could, but your cargo is like your backpack. You cannot put it in there. So you have to keep it in your front pocket, either your general or your tech. We need to make two nanotubes. There we go. We have our sodium, so now we can make a teleporter. So there we go. We have everything we need. We're going to put the teleporter over here. But now we need to power our teleporter because it has no power on it. So we need to make our... We need to go to our power tab. Power and industry tab. We need to start making a biofuel reactor. We need metal plating for that. We also need some uh, magnetized ferrite and stuff for batteries. I would always suggest you make a battery because it stores up the extra power that you're not using it stores it up and you can use it later on so i would always suggest doing that but because we're just trying to get this done and over with maybe get one of our metal platings out of our uh oh, okay that's smoking okay out of our uh thing over here wait a minute do we have a we have a frigate just flying through the atmosphere look at that that is so cool frigates can now go into atmosphere on planets that is so awesome all right Let's keep going with this. We need to make our biofuel reactor. Done. But we also need to connect it by wire. So you see the green lightning bolt? That's where you can connect a wire. One right there and one over here. So now it's wired up. We're good to go, but it's not making any power because you need to put in fuel. This is why you want to use a solar panel. A solar panel, all, all it needs is the sunlight to be out. So during the day, it'll make power. At night, it won't. That's another reason why you want the batteries. That way you can power stuff at night. And we are only going to put in a little bit here. There we go. And the more fuel you put in there, the longer it'll last. Like, I just put in 18. It lasted 18 seconds. So, there you go. 18 carbon, 18 seconds. Done and done on that. So, this is all good to go. We expanded our base. We powered our stuff. We are all good to go. Now we have another... Archives, you know, another thing unlocked. Accessing log from previous user. 4925 follows. Scanner detected unusual broadcast repeating 16 from the space station. Warning, end of archives. The base computer archives have reached their end. It seems there is nothing more I will learn from them. My predecessor appears to have left their base and headed to the space station. So that means we have to go to the space station and talk to some, uh talk to some uh, aliens on the space station. But before we do that, because we know where a, uh, an awesome crash ship is, let's go see what this is. Because worst case scenario, we could just grab it, take it to the space station, scrap it, and make a whole bunch of money. So worst case, I mean, if it's a really good ship, like if it's a, uh, an exotic or something, we will keep this thing. But if it's not a good one, like if it's a C-class shuttle, we could just scrap it. And we'll get a few, you know, 100,000, 200,000 or whatever from the scrap. So it's always useful to get these things. But if it's a hauler, we might keep it because then we can fix up a hauler. Haulers are now the new the ship that has the most inventory space. So before, it, all of the ships were equal. Well, originally, the hauler had the most. Then they updated it to where you can, you can upgrade ships to have all the same inventory. Now, what is this? Now we have a... Uh, a uh, hauler can have more inventory space than any other ship. This is a shuttle. I was all excited for a second. I thought it was going to be a... Uh, it's a B-class. That's pretty good. I thought it was going to be a uh, solar. I was all happy for a second. I was like, oh, it's a crash solar ship. Yes. 
So it's a B class. That's pretty good. We'll get some good money out of this. It's worth 1.49 million. That's almost double, triple what my starship is worth. So we're going to claim it. I'm just going to actually just get rid of this thing as soon as we get to the space station. But you have to fix it before you get there. So we need to make a hermetic seal. We're going to need to make a metal plating. Oh, we don't have enough ferrite dust. Dang it. Oh, let's grab this over here, too. The distress beacon might give you some technology upgrades, so of course you want to grab this if you can. Inspect a recently ins installed tech, or you can get cargo out of it. I want to do tech. That way you can get some uh, upgrades. I got a te teleport receiver. Yep. We're unlocking upgrades for free early on. Get this damage machinery. Let's see what you got. You're going to give me some upgrades or maybe some nanites. Come on. And gave me nanites. That's okay. That's what I was expecting. You Most of the time, you'll get nanites for that stuff. And yeah, that's okay. Grab that technology module out of there. We can sell it at the space station. So let's grab these out of here real quick. You can make the, you know, turn the rest of metal into uh, ferrite dust, but you have to refine it. And I don't have my backpack refiner, so I'm not even going to waste my time with that. It can just go, you know, go uh, mine a rock and get the ferrite dust I need. I don't need to refine stuff. Oh, that's a cactus. Dang it. Rocks, where are you? There you are. Need to get my ferrite dust out of here. And sentinels are going to be looking for me. No, 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 no. Don't worry about it. Don't you worry, sentinels. We're good. Can I make a ferrite? Yes, I can make a metal plating. Thank God. So I have everything I need. Done and done. And I don't need to fix my launch thruster, thankfully. You can fix your shield if you want to and some of this other stuff if you have the items for it. You can totally fix this stuff. I would say if, if you don't want to, you don't have to. Just fly to the space station, scrap it. You get, you do get a little bit more money. This thing is so... It's like a little plate. What is this thing? What is this? It's like a tube. Okay. Did you hear that thwomping sound? Right there. That means you have no shields. So normally when you're in combat, you'll hear that and you go, oh, I need to recharge my shield. <gasps> there is a purple planet in the system. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's a purple planet here. <sighs> oh, it has aggressive sentinels on it. Dang it. It has aggressive sentinels on it. I was going to say that'll be my new home. But uh, if it has aggressive sentinels, you do not want to mess with aggressive sentinels. We might go down there just to see what's going on. Yeah. Listen to that music. Oh, yeah. You get that rock music when you first get into a space station. I love it. So now we need to talk to different aliens, and we will slowly learn where the source is coming from. So don't talk to any of the marketplace people, you know, the aliens, because then it will activate stuff. Let's go uh, talk to this guy. Assistant. Oh, no. He's Zara. Oh, dang it. He is our uh, construction overseer. We can't get him yet. So let's back out of him. Hireling Juana. Let's ask the bat 16. Yeah, that rock music is still going. Nothing. All right, let's talk to the guard. I to place, demand a place on your throne world. Acceptance will grant you glory to the exocraft. We have the overseer and the exocraft terminal guy on this. Oh, good lord. Okay. So they're always going to be a specific race. Your Exocraft, your Armorer, they're going to be Viking. You know, your Overseer will always be a Gek. But I've... Yeah, they, they threw them all into one space station. I'm just trying to get my mission done here. All right. Well, let's sell some stuff, make some room in our inventory. Well, we can, so we're going to sell. Sell our salvage data for 103000 Sell the odd pinion, the uh, salvage we picked up. You don't need that. And we can use this to increase our standing with the Gek if you want to. Or you can make some money with it. Oh, we, we picked up a Sentinel Boundary. Ooh. We have a Sentinel Boundary map, you guys. This is going to be important. We can go to a Sentinel Pillar. Oh, we might need to do that. We might need to do that. All right. So we might need to actually do this and get this done. Because holy cow, we can get some good stuff out of there. Uh, let's sell our projectile because we don't have any ammo right now. Let's sell the silicate powder. We can always get more of that later on. 
That's just to make room in my inventory because we're gonna scrap a ship. You need a lot of room in your inventory to scrap the ship to begin with. So, move the stuff down here. So that's where all of our stuff is gonna go, right in the middle. I hope that's enough room. We also need to talk to another alien. Oh, look at that cool explorer right there, because we're gonna scrap this thing. Let's talk to another explorer or another alien and get that done. Wait a minute. Merchant, because I've been selling items. Sub 300,000, yeah. The life form chatters away, assessing me with beady, inquisitive eyes. But when I blink, I see that same red light that stared at me in the distress beacon. So this is the one, the third one. That's why I was skipping it earlier. They all get afraid of you earlier, but this is the one. He's the alien. We are watching you, traveler friend. Find what we have left you. Though the alien speaks, the words are not their own. A string of code is echoed back to me through the red glare, logged directly into my exosuit. The crimson light fades away, and I see the life form blinking at me expectantly. Whatever has happened, they do not have appear to have seen it. I should leave. Perhaps my base computer would be able to make something of this code. So I need to go back to my base computer. Before we do that, let's talk to some of these guys up here. Well, let's go scrap our ship, number one. But you can always talk to the aliens on the space station. And you can learn stuff. You can uh, practice your language skills, which, you know, could be good or bad. If you say the wrong word, then aliens will get upset with you and you'll lose standing. Or if you say the right word, they will give you items. They will give you upgrades. They will give you things. So, or they'll increase your standing. They'll like you more. Let's see if we can sell it. Yep, 475. Okay, I'll do that. Yes, I know. So we got a whole bunch of upgrades and stuff like that, so we need to sell it to get, you know, all of our inventory all cleaned out. Now we have reinforced piping, all these different pieces from the ship. So let's go over here and uh, get rid of it. But sell, like a tank of coolant. You can't do anything with it other than sell it. So don't, there's no use in keeping it for like an upgrade later on. It does not work that way. These are broken. You have to sell it. So we're looking for all that kind of stuff in here. The high capacity vector comp compress. Yeah. You can get rid of that. Thermal panels, all this stuff. I wish they had a tab for just trading materials. Anything that has no use. Like if there's, you can't use it to upgrade or to make or recharge anything. I wish they had a, uh, just a tab for that. That way you didn't have to worry about it. I think that's it, right? Yep. Oh, we have an ice cobalt. We can sell that. Uh, but we can we can either use these upgrades in our ship or we can sell them for nanites. So I'm going to sell mine for nanites because I'm looking for an S-class upgrades. But let's go over here. We're going to get our suit upgraded first. So let's talk to any, any of the merchants you can sell the upgrades to. Any of them you can. But uh, because I'm going to buy any, I'm going to buy stuff from this guy anyway, I might as well come over here first. So anytime you go to purchase, it's right there. You can just select, you know, on by default, it's on pur purchase, but you can go to sell and you can sell any of the upgrades you have in your inventory. So I'm going to sell all of them. And now we're going to try to buy some good ones. Do we have any good ones? Ooh, we have a life support upgrade. Yes. Do we have any shields? Uh, no, we have thermal. We have a for cold. So that's why it has a, a snowflake on it. And then we have thermal for heat and life support. So I'm going to do life support. That way I don't have to recharge my life support as often. There you go. And then we can buy our uh, exosuit upgrade. That way we can get more room in our inventory. So we can get 1,000. Everything costs differently. So pay attention to the cost. 5,000 for your uh, general. And that's the base starting price. It will increase every time you buy another one. So it'll start at 5. The next one will be 10,000. The one after that will be 20,000. It will increase in price the more you buy. So keep that in mind. The same thing for your technology. 1,000 now. Next time it'll be five. The other time it'll be 10. It'll just keep increasing. And the most expensive one is your cargo. It starts out at five, but you can fill this whole square up and it'll start costing you tons and tons of money, up to a million dollars per slot. So keep that in mind. You don't want to buy your cargo. You can find upgrades later on, but or you can find it now if you want to, a drop pod. So right now, we're just going to put it into our general. Yep. No, no, let's do our technology card right there. Boom. So 
so there we go. Give all the stuff is all good to go on this. So let me, while I'm here, we need to move some stuff over like my pyrite. I'm going to use that to charge my pulse engine. So that's going to be our fuel for our starship. So I'm going to move that over. Uh, this is all good. All good. We need to install our life support upgrade with next to our life support. Because you see how it has a blue border around it? That means it's giving each other a boost. If you put similar upgrades together, like the life support upgrade next to like your life support, it'll actually give your, yourself a boost. If you're not, now it doesn't have a border around it. So that's what you're looking for. Look for that colored border when you're installing upgrades. Every upgrade's gonna be different. Every border is gonna be different. You know, your life support is gonna be a different color. Then your, uh, what's it? Your uh, jetpack will be yellow. Your life support is blue. That kind of stuff. Let's go to my starter base. We need to go talk to our base computer. Let's go do it. Yep, yeah, but we still don't have our front door. That's okay, though. Let's get this uh, base computer archive going. Archives terminated. Select a new task. Yes, begin decryption. Message follows. The traveler finds their wings. Fly to us and claim your place amongst the stars. So now we have to go to space and figure out... Where's my... There, there you are. Now we have to figure out what's going on in space. This is where you meet the uh, space anomaly. So you need to do this. You need to do this. Oh, wait a minute. No, never mind. A possible distress beacon. I, I'm sorry. I was getting ahead of myself there. No space anomaly on this one. We still have to get our hyperdrive. So let's go over here. This is our hyperdrive. I haven't done this in so long, I forgot. You gotta get our hyperdrive first. Let's put our launch fuel over there. So let's land over here, possible distress signal. There you go, it's marking that, but I'm sure it's probably gonna be in this building that's right near it. So uh, maybe you'll land over here, because it has a landing pad. Anytime you see that green circular thing, it will not take any launch fuel to launch from there, so always keep that in mind. If you want to save your launch fuel, land on those circular landing areas. Let's get this thing going. Log damaged. Partial records available. The signal has led me to the wreck of a freighter. Colossal fragments of metal scattered across the landscape. Were these messages nothing but the misfiring circuits of a long-forgotten ruin? Nestled among the debris, I find the pilot's log blinking, awaiting input. Let's see what's going on here. Instead of displaying the ship's log, the terminal spits out a strange sequence of numbers. They are followed by a short message. The anomaly comes for the stars. Take flight. A schematic for a hyperdrive is attached to the end of the message. All right, let's take it. I pull the blueprint from the computer, but this hyperdrive blueprint is for a conventional starship, not the freighter of this size. Someone placed this here after the crash, hoping it would be found. So now I have hyperdrive blueprints for my own ship. So now we got our uh, our microprocessors. Now we're good. Oh yeah, before we go, let's see what we can get from the wreckage. So anytime there's a crash freighter, you can actually search the wreckage and get some cool stuff out of it. Let's break this one open. You're gonna find these cool shipping cargo containers right here, cargo pods. And they will be randomized on what you need. Like right now, I need chromatic metal. Sometimes it'll be sodium. Sometimes it'll be carbon. Sometimes it'll be cobalt. It's a random item that they need to unlock. So we just did that and run away because they will have they will leak radiation once you open it. So there's two. There's always two above ground, and you can see it. You'll see it right here, cargo pod. You'll see that little designation on it. Let's do it. And once you've unlocked one, they'll all be the same. They'll all be chromatic metal. There we go. We got an out of that one. Oh, God, I'm going to get poisoned. Yep. Radiation protection. There we go. Get out of there. But, yeah, there's also going to be some underground. So you can go dig these ones up. This one over here. And it's going to be the same thing as the other ones. You're just going to need some chromatic metal. It'll be the same material for all the cargo pods in the area. Let me dig around this one. All right. So here's the uh, opening right here. Yep, see? Chromatic metal again. And wait for it to unlock. It'll kick you out. I got nanites for that one. Get out of the way. 
So you can't just go around and collect a whole bunch of cool stuff. Sometimes it'll be amazing stuff in there. So definitely take your time if you want to. Notice how I didn't use any launch fuel with that. I love it. All right, let's go back to our uh, our starter base because I could refine my... Uh, I have a whole bunch of copper. I can refine that into chromatic metal. So let's go do that. All right, so I've refined. I got back to my base. I refined some uh, chromatic metal. Well, let's see what we can do here. I'm going to put in my technology tab. So we need 125 chromatic metal and five microprocessors. We've got both. Now that I have my uh, chromatic metal, so let's install that. So now we're good to go. It's all fixed. It's good. But we don't have any fuel in our, uh, what's it called? Our hyperdrive. We need to make a warp cell. But we don't know how to make that. So let me, while I'm, while I'm doing this real quick, let me, let me pull this. That way I, I have it for later, just in case. Return to my ship. Oh, yeah, we're going to need to find some fuel. Let's get in here real quick. Auto diagnostics report. Look at those freighters coming in. Or fr uh, frigates. Hyperdrive successfully installed. Hyperdrive fuel status empty. Hyperdrive is complete. Perhaps I really will find the answers out there amidst the stars. Okay. But without warp cells, I will be going nowhere. I need to find a source of antimatter. So now we need to go find some antimatter. Look at these guys just flying through. That is so cool. All right. So we need to scan. Uh, perform a planetary scan from orbit. So we need to go into space in order to find our uh, antimatter. Let's get up here. And now we're in space. Let's scan again. Where is it going to be? Where is it going to be? Oh, over on this uh, green planet? <gasps> Unknown moon. Hopefully it's a good moon. No aggressive sentinels. It's a caustic, so it's a, a toxic moon. It has fungal mold on it. That's another reason why you would know that. All right. So hopefully it's all green. It looks like it's green and beautiful from the outside, but once you land, I guess it's going to be nasty. So let's grab this thing while we're here. I'm wondering maybe if this building right next to the marker again, they only put the marker nearby where you need to go. So this is actually going to be where we need to go over here. We have a landing pad, a landing area. No, nothing. Okay, great. Well, let's land. Now this is going to be an abandoned building. You can get a lot of nanites from this. So let's come over here, grab some of this stuff. We're going to need to make a uh, portable refiner for this. Oh, got a Gek uh, statue. That's okay. Yeah, Corvex casing as well. Okay, we're getting all of it now. So now what you can do is you can attack these whispering eggs. You will get attacked by enemies, so keep that in mind. But if you attack the whispering eggs, you can get a larval core, and you can turn that into nanites. So let me show you what I mean by that. There we go. Now we have enemies. So now we get the heck out of here because they will eat you, mess you up. But if you go to the other side, it takes them a second to come over here. So you can attack these real quick. Get these ones while you're going. Now they're over here. Now they caught on to me. So let's get inside. There we go. So if you're inside, you're a little bit more protected. You still have to worry about them spitting through the door. But you're more protected than you are if you're outside. So... Let me search all this stuff in here. Get all my good stuff. So there you go. I got five larval cores, which I could sell for $350,000, which is good. But you can turn that into 250 nanites. So way more valuable as nanites, I would say. Well, let's get into this terminal right here. And you can turn the residual goop into that as well, but you need to refine it a few times. It's not worth the effort. You'll get like maybe two nanites out of that. Totally not worth the effort. Selecting key, decrypting, success. The terminal is clogged with an unnerving pulsating slime. Nevertheless, it appears to function. As I touch the input panel, the alien substance reacts violently. I make a note to avoid getting closer. The device opens, revealing a single unblinking crimson eye. 
It prints out a blueprint for antimatter accompanied by a strange message. You will find us when the time is right. 16, over and over. So now I know how to make antimatter. You need 25 chromatic metal and I need condensed carbon. Both of those things are gonna be kind of a pain in the butt because you need to refine a lot of stuff. And I need a metal plating to make a refiner, right? Yes, I do. So let's get some more uh, ferrite dust. Up, oh, there's these guys running around out here. Let's get some ferrite dust first. Because we'll, we'll pick up more of those. Uh, oh, let's scan these animals. That way I can get some money out of that. Done. But yeah, let's get some fer uh, oh, not pure ferrite. I don't have an upgraded multi-tool yet. So we can also scan the plants and get a secondary item from them as well. And we got 500 bucks out of that, so I'll take it. You get more more money scanning animals for sure, but you can uh, scan plants to get a good amount of money. And rocks will give you money, but rocks will never give you that much money. So if you need like an extra couple of bucks, scan the rocks. <laughs> there we go. So I need rocks though. Come on. Any other regular rocks around here? Nope. Pure ferrite, pure ferrite. That's not what I want. Scan that thing. It looks like, almost like a beaver with his flat tail. Ferrite dust. There we go. We need to get some uh, metal plating. That way it can make a whole bunch of uh, antimatter. And uh, what's it called? And the, uh, the antimatter housings for it. So now that we have that, we can make a metal plating real quick. So now we can make our portable refiner. I'm going to make it real quick and then I'm going to delete it. That way it's in my inventory. But what we can do is... Yeah, I guess we're just going to pop these ones real quick. And then run to the next area. That way you don't have to worry about them attacking you immediately. Oh, oh. That hurt. That hurt a lot. Let's get inside. Oh, yep, they're coming around. They're coming for me. So now that we're inside, we're okay. Let's pop down our portable refiner. Need to uh, put fuel in it. Let me show you. And then, if you put your stacks of larval cores in there, look at that. One equals 50. So I got a stack of five. That equals 250 nanites. And it's really quick. Look at that. Boom. Done and done. And we have another, another four of them. So another 200. We just got... 450 nanites. That's pretty dang good. You know, and then we can also, we can turn some of our uh, regular carbon into condensed carbon. That way we can use that for our fuel. Remember, we're going to need a whole bunch of chromatic metal and condensed carbon. So you might as well do that. Get it knocked out and out of the way. Oh, these guys are right here. Oh, they're still mad. They're still mad. I don't have a lot of health. I, I need to kill some animals and eat some meat. There we go. Excess suit. Yeah, we're doing pretty good here. We're doing pretty good. I don't, I'm waiting here because I'm going to try to put my uh, my copper in here and make some uh, chromatic metal while I'm out there trying to get some more. So let's do this real quick. Make some uh, copper right there. Done and done. So I will be back once I get some more eggs. There's nothing on that nest. And they will appear again, but you have to leave and come back after a while. So it's not really... I mean, there is a way to farm these, but not really worth it yet. You know, might as well just pop them now and get what we can. One, two, three, four. Oh, God. Oh, no! <laughs> There's the first death right there. And because we're in survival mode, I just lost everything in my inventory. Everything in my inventory is now gone. Great. So as you can see, let me go in my inventory. Nothing. All of it's gone. I keep my technology and I keep my stuff in my cargo. I keep everything in my cargo, but not in my general. And because we're in survival, usually on normal mode, it would drop your grave right where you were at. The problem is... 
In survival, you do not have a grave, so I just lost everything I just had in my inventory. Oh my. You keep your money, so I got my money right in there. Got my nanites, but you lose all your items in your inventory. So I just lost everything. Oh my god. No. So I have to make all that stuff again. I lost all my chromatic metal. I lost all my, uh, my condensed carbon is gone. Let's do that. We'll do a hundred and we'll keep the rest of this in my, <laughs> oh man. All right. Well, we're going to need to make some, uh, condensed carbon. So let's go do that <laughs> while we're waiting. We need a hundred of each. Oh my God. I can't believe I just lost all that stuff. So that's another reason. I mean, on permadeath, that would have been the end of the playthrough right there because I would have just deleted my save. Thankfully, we're playing on survival mode, so it just gets rid of your items. Holy cow. Ah, that was a pain. That was a pain. So let's grab. Come on. Put some more in there. Give me all of it. Yep. In it. Give it all to me. There we go. Boom. So now we can make some. We're also going to need ferrite dust and oxygen to make our housing for it. Problem is, can't really get oxygen here. I'm going to go to the space station and we're going to buy some stuff from them. So you need to make antimatter. So we can make the antimatter now. We can make four. But we need to make the antimatter housing, which needs ferrite dust and oxygen. So let's go to the space station and buy some materials that we need. I can't believe I died, you guys. Holy cow. I just, I died and I just realized that I had a sentinel pillar map. So I was able to see a sentinel pillar, but now I can't. Now I can't. Oh my God. All right. All right. So let's go over here. Let's talk to you. Usually you talk to the pilots because you don't want to affect the price. Again, if you want to crash the economy, you do anything in the uh, wall terminals. If you don't want to do anything to the economy, you don't even bother with the wall terminal. You just go to the pilots and they will fix you up with whatever you need. Um, oh, we can buy some chromatic metal from here. Yes. Let's buy some Pugnium because we're going to need to make a uh, scatter blaster later on for our, our multi-tool. So now we can make our antimatter housings. 30 oxygen, 50 ferrite dust. So now we can make a total of four of the warp cells. So let's make four of them. And then you have to install it or insert it into your hyperdrive. So there you go. Now we need to go to a different system. Woo, we're doing good, you guys. We're doing pretty good. Other than dying. <laughs> Other than dying. So they will mark by default the trail to the galactic core. That's where you want to go. That's the ultimate goal of No Man's Sky. But you can do a whole bunch of other stuff around it. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, Hopefully not die as much and lose all of my materials like that. Oh my God, I can't believe that. All right, so now we're here. So while we're here, let's go to the space station. Oh, wait a minute. Starship monitoring system reports error. Guidance system malfunction. Searching for other routes. Searching, searching. Obtained. Destination in 16, 16, 16. <laughs> Accept new guidance? Sure. Plotting the route. So before we do any of that stuff, I want to go to the space station to get some, uh, upgrade our exosuit uh, inventory. See what kind of upgrades they have there. But yeah, we have pretty much pretty good setup right now so far. Good Lord. Ferrite dust here, oxygen here, sodium there, pugnium and the chromatic metal. Oh no, we're good, we're good. Okay, we're good on all that stuff. So, first things first, upgrade. Let's get one going on here. Gonna go for our technology because it's the cheapest. 
Let's see if you have any good upgrades for me. What do you got? Purchase upgrades. He yeah, has a movement thermal and a, oh, a shield module. That's what we need. So we need to come back here for our shields. So definitely want to come back to this space station for our shields, you guys. Holy cow. Not going to get it yet. We don't have enough. And I'm trying to save up some so when we get to the space anomaly, we can actually buy some good upgrades in there. But let's go over here to our fuel source. This is where we're going to find our uh, warp drive or, or not warp drive, our warp cell. You know, because they assume you only made one. I made a lot more than you need to make. So they assume you only got one out of there. Oh, it's on a moon. It's a good moon. I hope. Uh, maybe not. This doesn't look like a good moon. Could be, though. And it's going to be at this building right here. <laughs> I like how they're putting all my stuff right next to where I need to be. They're kind of being nice to me. Ooh, and there is an amazing uh, thing right here. This looks like a radiation planet. Okay, great. Heart of the anomaly. This structure is unlike anything I've encountered on my journey so far. Everything about it is so obviously alien, so obviously out of place. As I stare at it, words form themselves in the back of my mind. A strange fragment of a broken speech. Is it traveler? Is it friend? I'm a traveler. It feels strange responding to questions I am unsure that I'm being asked. But something has clearly taken notice of my reply. I am overwhelmed by a sense that something has awoken, that someone is watching me. It forms another question. Is it first? Is it last? I am first. I don't know how I am being spoken to. This monolith is ancient, and I cannot escape the feeling it has asked these questions many times over. It asks again, have they seen the Crimson Eye? Has the Crimson Eye seen them? I have seen the Crimson Eye. Likelihood of anomaly exceeds safety parameters. Breach detected. Alert, alert. The boundaries fall, the walls collapse. Your universe awaits. Find us, traveler. And also at the monolith, you can learn a whole bunch of different words. Like, oh, we have a Corvax. It's a Corvax system. So this is going to be the first time we see the Corvax, which is really cool. We're going to accept the knowledge of their words. So now we learn the word for Corvax. Did I not get that one? Dang it. I went too fast. There we go. Word for traveler. Word for whiz or entity. All right. We learned the words here. We learned five words. There we go. Probably more than that, but we hit the, the trigger for five words. Oh, yeah. Let me... um. Oh, man. We're going to have to make some money. Okay. All right. So now that we've gotten that... Oh, let's use that. What am I supposed to be doing? Locate the benefactor. I'm in space. Use a galaxy map to search for clues. So they want us to go to another system. But what I do usually is I will go. We have our warp cell. Let's put that one in there. I will go back to my original system. You can go to a different system if you want to. I'm going to head back to the original one that we came from because it has our base, it has all that stuff there, and it kind of helps me uh, map it out of my head because now we know that the system I just left has a really good shield upgrade. I'm going to need to get some nanites in order to uh, get that thing. So we're going to need to go back to that one. And it has a movement upgrade for your jetpack, so of course you got to go back and get those. So we should get a uh, notification again. There we go. Frequency unknown. Incoming transmission. Source unknown. You are not alone. Please identify yourself. I, they did it again. You left me. Why did you? I don't understand. What's going on here? Of course you'd say that. Of course you'd. Just like the others. Well, what are you talking about, the others? There is no reply. The communicator falls silent, though the channel remains open. 
So now we know where this is going. Oh, we got an anomaly attack here. Great. I can die and lose that one too. Coordinates received. Where are my coordinates at? Oh, over here. On the green moon again. So let's go over here. This is going to be where Artemis's ship is going to be. So that's really good. We're going to need to make a uh, launch fuel for this, though. And I've, I lost all my materials, so I can't make any. I was piling up so many good materials. Dang it. All right. And again, we're looking for a crash or some kind of a thing here. So probably right here. We're going to land over here because I like the landing pad at the minimum. Oh, okay. It's a broadcast tower. Grab these for the nanites or an upgrade. If they want to give me an upgrade, that'd be great. Come on, upgrade. One of these days will give me an upgrade. Uh, launch fuel. Perfect. To say actually what I need, literally. <laughs> All right. 200. Oh, it's not here. Okay. So it's not that one. It's somewhere else. Do we have a living... Oh, hazardous flora. Get away from that. Don't want to die. Oh, there you go. Crash ship. There you go. Right next to a broadcast tower. <laughs> I love it. So let's grab this. Oh, he has a, his emergency beacon right here. We can also grab the ship, too. And sell that, scrap it, and make some money. We need chromatic metal and sodium. We have both of those. Thank God. Buzz. There are no signs of life. There is only the static of a broken communicator. Whatever message was once here has been scrambled beyond recovery. All I extract is the pilot's name, Artemis. Whoever they were, they are long gone. The only other uncorrupted data is a set of plans, an upgrade for my mining beam. I just got an advanced mining laser. Yes, beautiful. So now I can get more advanced items, which I'll take. Give me an upgrade. Give me an upgrade. I'll take the nanites too, but give me an upgrade. Nothing? Nah, nah, nah. Give me the nanites, I guess. Give me those. I could sell that later on. So now let's try to uh, fix this thing. It's a B-class Spear of the Amid. It's, I think this is the same exact one we had earlier. So, yes, I'll take all of that. We need to make some uh, condensed carbon. So, portable refiner here. We need to put some carbon in there. And we don't have enough carbon to do anything else. So, let's do this real quick. Get some more carbon out of here. That way we can make our uh, hermetic seal. We're going to need to make one of those and... We're going to uh, need to make some uh, plating, metal plating, I'm sure. Give me that. Give me that. Also, make sure you check these uh, containers because they can give you some good stuff, too. So, again, don't need the rest of metal. Just to make ferrite dust. We don't need that. We got plenty of ferrite dust all around. Got an ion battery. There you go. Got my good batteries back, thankfully. Don't know if we're going to need to make any uh, dihydrogen jelly, so I'm going to grab it anyway. Give me that. Got another ion battery. Okay, we're doing pretty good now. Got some batteries going on. Batteries needed. Battery is needed. So we should have what we need. We're going to refine the uh, c carbon. There we go. That should be plenty. That should be plenty. We only need 35 in order to make our hermetic seal. So it should be plenty. And... One, two, three, four, five. There we go. And now let's pick this thing up just in case. All right, let's get in here. So we need to fix, yeah, just our pulse engine, which is a hermetic seal and a metal plating. Perfect. Hermetic seal, metal plating, 
And again, you can fix it if you want to. You can fix more of it if you want to. But we can get rid of this and we'll get some sodium and wiring loom and some chromatic metal. Ooh. I mean, you can fix all the stuff. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna take some of that material since I died and screwed myself. Might as well take the materials that I, I need. And a wiring loom, yes. We're gonna need that for an upgrade anyway, so let's go do it. So now let's go to the space station. Now the anomaly is gonna pop in here, you guys, but don't worry about that. We can always go and hang out with the anomaly somewhere else. Let's see how close we can get before I answer this dang call. Now when you answer it, the anomaly will come in. So I wanna make it as close as possible to the space station. So, you know, I'm lazy. I don't wanna to have to <laughs> go fly back to it somewhere else. All right, let's answer the call. This is up, uh, uh, Nada, Priest Entity Nada. Artemis Entity, we received your signal. Is it first? Is it last? Time for truth. You have their signal, but you are not Artemis Entity. I'm not. Your signal is familiar to Nada. We have been in contact before, I think. This would be a good time to come aboard. Yes, a proper introduction to our home. But here they come, boom, right in there. I love it. But before we go in there, I'm going to scrap this ship, make some nanites, because we're going to need to buy some upgrades and stuff in the uh, space anomaly. So I don't want to uh, get all of that all, you know, confused and not be ready for it. So carbon goes down here. Sodium is good. All of this stuff is all in the way. All right. So, oh, pirate. That, that doesn't look good. That does not look good at all. That pirate is right there. He's like waiting on the outside of the space station. <laughs> all right, so let's sell some stuff and make some nanites, get some room in our inventory. I like how I kept the Gek statue so I can die and lose them. Sell, salvage data. Sell the Corvax casing, silicate powder, yes. Uh, yeah, let's sell the carbon. Or copper, excuse me, copper. Um, I think that's it. We're gonna buy some more items, like life support gel, we need that. Buy it, batteries, yes, we need that. Ferrite dust, oxygen, sodium, you're gonna need all of that. Um, pure ferrite, we might need that, actually. Let's buy that. I don't think we need anything else. So we should be okay. Oh, thankfully that pirate left. Thank. Uh, oh yeah, we need to. We need to actually. Uh, what's it called? Scrap out our ship. Duh. Let me have that. Oh man, we're not gonna have any room. Well, let's get rid of the four. Holy crap! We have way too much crap in here. Um, yeah, we got way too much. Dang it. I don't know. But maybe, maybe we can put some stuff away. Oh, we have, we have room in our cargo. Room in our cargo. Let's do it. Up there, up there, up there. Um, you're going to go in the cargo. There we go. Now we have enough room. I know we have enough room for this stuff. Yes. Scrap this baby. Make another 425,000. I'll take it. And we can get some nanites. Again, that's why we did it. Let's sell these things for our nanites. Hyperdrive, Starship, and Pulse Engine. Yes, we are making money. We got tons of nanites. We got tons of cash on us. Let's sell these. I should have did this before, but I wasn't thinking about it. Because I'm not thinking very much at all. High capacity, ionized cobalt. Yeah, let's sell that. Thermal pads, reinforced piping, handful of cogs. And I think that's it. Done and done. Beautiful. Yep, all clean, all good. Ooh, look at this fighter. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, how much are you? Probably more than I have, I only have a million. 
Make it off her on his ship. Look at all that room. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, 12 million. I only have 1.5. I'll come back. I'm going to need to make some money, you guys. We need to make some money on this thing. So now that we're good, let's go to the Space Anomaly. Journey stuff. Yeah, see, we want to get these milestones stacked up because... Ooh, man, look, at we're almost maxed out on uh, in our uh, economy, our capitalist tycoon. Oh, yeah. So you want to earn a lot of milestones because there is a uh, traveler on the space station that will actually give you nanites for your milestones. The higher your milestones, the more nanites you will earn. So you definitely want to do that as quickly as possible. Let's get over here. So now, first things first, we have to go talk to uh, Polo and Nada. We can also get our Quicksilver items and anything we want in there as well. I'm going to try to avoid my, like, expedition rewards other than cosmetics. Like, I don't want to take a, or accept a brand new ship, you know, or anything like that that's really going to help me. But cosmetics don't really do anything other than make you look cool. So I can deal with getting the cosmetics. I am Priest Entity Nada, Divergence Corvax. Welcome to our anomaly. Our home here is pleasant, yes? Polo's own design, a perfect bubble beyond the Sentinels, beyond Vengeful Corvax, Nada watches time come and go. Ask about Artemis. A traveler entity, perhaps they are known to you. I do not know their number. Nada does not care to think about iterations as numbers. They were lost to us. Highly improbable, our anomaly is lost to Sentinels, but none should be lost to the anomaly. The Corvex watches me. There is patience, an organic tilt to the way they hold their metal shell. What about Nada? Nada awoke with the death of Corvax Prime. Could not understand why such things happen, why we are alone. Now I am divergent. The convergence do not see through my eyes. Nada is not alone anymore. Nada is with Polo Friend. Now many other friends visit. Our convergence is small, but Nada is happy. Nada's carapace pulses with a gentle light. There is something familiar about them. So let's find Polo. Polo Friend found Nada. Found my signal. Nada is safe. Now, Nada finds other signals, makes others safe. The station has been calling to me since I woke on the planet. Perhaps it's called to Artemis as well. What about the space station? Beyond what is outside, our anomaly wanders free. Free like Nada, to observe and to search. The Sentinels, the Atlas, they do not care for this place. I feel their eyes hunting us. Nada watches me, judging my reactions as they speak. Okay. Speak with Polo, friend traveler. Perhaps they might know more about missing Artemis. They perceive things more clearly than Nada. Yep, Polo, that's why Polo's the best. Polo is the best. Friends everywhere, if only you know where to look. Friends in all shapes and all sizes and all places. Artemis, friend, you are where they should be. Does not seem possible. But all things are possible, such as the universe. We will find them, no doubt. There is always a signal, always a trace. Well, how? Our home will see to it. When you leave, you will no not be where you were. You will be closer. Or maybe not. Discovery is exciting, yes? I think I'll be all excited, but no, no, of course not. Before you leave, perhaps spend some time with other friends. We all help each other here. So this is like the tutorial for the anomaly. In order to call in the anomaly, you have to go around and talk to other uh, travelers. You have to find other things. Use the the market in the back. So let's talk to Helios. He's my guy over here. Ah, young one. You who still roam the boundaries of this universe. How I envy you. My time out in reality is long past, but I miss it greatly. Perhaps you might help an old soul and share the things you've seen. Yeah, I yearn for the stars, for the glory of discovery. So you can come up to Helios every day, and he'll ask for different things every day. So today it's planets. Tomorrow it might be animals. The next day it might be uh, plants. He will ask for a different data set every single day. And if you give it to him, you will get nanites for it. Thank you, little one. You have no idea what this means to me. Please take these nanites. They are nothing. But they are all I have now. So, yeah, I mean, we got a good amount. We got 120 nanites from him. That's pretty good. 
But if you talk to Ares over here, Ares is the one that gives you nanites for your milestones. So do that. Traveler helps to make progress. Traveler tests themselves. I will help and exchange progress for progress. Or wealth, perhaps. Experience or materials, both valid today. Salvage technology. So if I had salvage technology, I could give him salvage tech, the uh, buried technology, and it would he would give me nanites in place of it. From my experience, it's never worth it to exchange materials with him. He only gives you a little bit of nanites. The biggest thing for him is to transmit your milestone data, or if you want to buy upgrades from him, you can. Basic selection only. Seek space stations for a grand. He will give you your basics. So he will give you a whole bunch of different ones, but they're all the basics, even the exocraft stuff. He will give you a ton, but they're all only going to be C's and B's. If you want A's or S-class upgrades, you have to go to a space station in order to get it. So let's exchange our, let's transmit our milestone data. And we just got 600. Yes, I love it. And then you also have the chef over here, Kronos. If you have food, you can come over here, talk to him, and he will take your food, and he will judge it. It's a random thing, so sometimes it'll be great, and it'll give you a ton of nanites. Sometimes he'll say it's terrible, and he'll give you, like, nothing. So there you go for that. And then you have the, uh, the market in the back. This is where all your cool upgrades are. You can buy all the upgrades, and you can buy another exosuit upgrade, inventory upgrade. So let's do that real quick. Yeah, there we go. Let's talk to Celine. She does your your uh, exosuit upgrades right here. So this is what you want to get because you get your hazmat you know, uh, gauntlet. Okay. But uh, what I want is right below the hazmat gauntlet. So this is actually in a tree. So you have to unlock the stuff above it to get to the things below it. You see how you need to unlock the simple translator in order to unlock the superior translator. Everything's in a tree, so you have to buy the things above it. You need to buy the hazmat gauntlet before you can buy the best thing in the game, the personal refiner. I'll take that. Oh, yeah, oxygen and chromatic metal. The most useful thing in the game right now. I, I love this thing. And you need oxygen, chromatic metal. There you go. Done. Now we're finished. Now we can just put whatever. Oh, I love it. We could just keep putting things in here and making a ton of things. Oh, yeah, look at that. Boom. We can refine everything. Refine it all. Anyway. I love that. I love the first, the uh, backpack refiner. This is a construction research station. This is where you can get all of your base building pieces here. You do need to get your uh, buried technology in order to get this. So instead of giving it to Ares back there, you can just use it for hit this. And again, Ares will switch it out. It'll be different all the time. The other thing you can try is, let's see what multi-tool they have. They have a better multi-tool than I have. Uh, C-class? No, not really. Okay. Done and done on that. So, yeah, you can buy. This is where you buy all of your upgrades. We're all good to go on everything over here. Let's go back. Let's go back and talk to uh, Nada. Nada and Polo drift between worlds and worlds. There are many. Have you seen them, traveler friend? Nada wishes they could. Nada regrets much. What do I do? Traveler entity is free to make their own path. Find Artemis entity, explore with others, travel to great sites. Proceed as you will, traveler. We will aid you. Others will aid you also, even if you seek the crimson lair. Let's ask for help with uh, exploration. Of course, Nada will mark your map with a great wonder, but take your time with your journey. Find your pattern, speak to others on the station. They have things to offer you also. Return to us whenever you please, Traveler Entity. You're always welcome here. <coughs> so yeah, there you go. And so this is where you can get missions. This is, the, this is basically the multiplayer hub. I don't have my multiplayer turned on. That's why it's empty. But if you had your multiplayer turned on, everyone would be in here like getting all the stuff. So we could also come over here to the Quicksilver robot. And he will give you Quicksilver items. Also, expedition rewards, if you've done the expeditions, and your Twitch rewards are all right here. I'm going to go to my Quicksilver items, so you can get all the Quicksilver items. A lot of this stuff is just going to be visual stuff, like your your base building stuff. You can get, like, full sales and stuff like that, decals. All of this is going to be basically co cosmetic, but... Because I unlocked it on a different profile, on my, my different save, I should say. I have my main save where I unlock all this stuff. 
There you go. You're good to go. You have everything unlocked on all of your saves. So there you go. The only difference is these things right here, you have to buy a quantity. So you have to buy each one for every save. So that's what they do that. Uh, fireworks are working the same way. Oh, there you go. Void egg. You can't, you don't unlock them forever. You have to buy each void egg. You have to buy each, uh, you know, like firework, whatever you want to do. So all those stuff that you, is usable, you have to keep buying over and over again. You have to keep buying it. So there you go. Hopefully you guys like this episode. This is a ton of stuff going on here. I'm going to go out. I'm going to start making some money. I'm going to show you guys how to make some money in the next episode. So hopefully I will see you guys then.